Good morning, everybody. It's Lori Cooch, and I hope you're having a great day. Wanted to just show you a quick little project I did, and it actually it took me about an hour, but um, I didn't want to do a video of me putting it together, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step. And then um, right below this, there's going to be links to all the products that I used, so you can easily get those. So it's just an envelope card or a little album. Um, so we're going to walk through it. This is the front page, and I used the Grateful Heart Paper Pack and Compliment Set from Close to My Heart. And so here's the front page, the inside page, and this little tab right here, there's a pocket. And so that pulls out. There's a 4x6 photo here and a 4x6 photo on both sides, and they just slide right back in. Um, here's another, the second, third page. There's another pocket here. Again, four by six and four by six. Oops. And again, I'm going to walk through step by step each page, but I just want to go through it real quick. Now, on these butterflies, I used our shimmer brush to make them a little bit glittery. I don't know if you can see that the shimmer on them but in real life they're beautiful and I also um, went over the word blessed another pocket here this one has two four by threes and then um, a journal spot and then the back page and again use the shimmer brush on the butterfly Okay, so here is what I did. First thing you used is the envelopes. I'm going to just show you real quick what I did. And this was a technique shown to me by a member of my downline, um, and her name is Lisa. So you just take the envelopes and slide them together. Now you're going to end up gluing this in here, but I'm not doing it for the sake of this video. You can, you can figure it out. You just got to get some adhesive in there. So then your pocket's on this side. And now if you just slide in another one, and again, you're gonna glue this or use your adhesive. But if you want your pocket on the other side, you're just going to flip the envelope the other way and slide that tab in. And I'm using six envelopes. And slide this one in. And the back one, you will flip it the other way. And slide it in. And that's what makes your spine. You're gonna take the very first envelope's flap and slide it in. Now you can just, you don't have to assemble it the same way I did. You can assemble it any way you want your pockets to be but I want to point out something for you. Let me get this in here. Smarter than the envelope, Lori. And then once you glue that in there with your adhesive, it's gonna hold it and it makes your, your book. And you've got a, a finished binding. But what I want to point out to you is, when you slide this in here, which way did that one go? Yeah, this one goes in this way. So once you put your adhesive in here, it's gonna make that pocket really small. So you wouldn't necessarily wanna use that side as the pocket. This side is still open, so this would be your pocket. Does that make sense? So let's go back to this. Each page is covered with a piece of the Grateful Heart Paper Pack, and it's cut five by seven. I have inked the edges of every single one. This one is saffron, and I just use our little finger daubers. And then of course, whoops, our exclusive inks. This one was saffron. And if you didn't know, let me find one real quick. The zip strips on each piece of uh, B&T paper, it tells you the coordinating colors. So this one, for this paper pack, it's Espresso, Fern, Glacier, Gold Rush, Mink, New England, Ivy, Saffron, Sapphire, Pomegranate, and White Daisy. So that's always good to know. But <clears throat> So again, five by seven, inked around the edges. I've got these out of the compliments. 
So it says gather in a cute little owl. The first page, again, five by seven. Added some white cardstock, inked around the edges. And um, these are the sizes that are cut right here. So you could just put a picture here to make a three by four and it would cover it up. Or you could do a little smaller bit of a picture and have the border, but these were cut three by four, okay? This pulls out to be a four by six. Again, ink the edges, and these inside pocket pieces are cut four and a half by six and a half to fit inside the pocket. So you could put a four by six photo here. I did not ink the edges on this because more than likely you're going to put just a four by six photo and it would cover it up and you wouldn't see it. Same with this side. And I just used a piece of our um, ribbon in with the fern stitching to make that tab. Um, four by six again, another piece of the compliment kit. This was a sticker and this was a cardboard piece of the, not cardboard, but a really thick cardstock piece of the compliment set. And then I just inked around it in the pomegranate because this is the pomegranate color and this is sapphire. The next set I used um, the green striped B&T and then I hit it up with some uh, puffy tape. So this is a little journaling box for you. More than likely you're gonna to wanna to write on it before you pop it up because you've got the puffy underneath it. Now, if you didn't know, our card stocks are double-sided. So see, this is the dark side and then we have a lighter side. So you can see the contrast of the papers. So I went ahead and used the dark side here and inked it up with the Fern, um, Fern exclusive ink. And just this piece right here, let me see if I can find the whole one. So it was actually, it comes in the paper pack and it was a big tall piece and I cut this off and then I cut out this wood piece. So we have this little piece, ink the edges and then used that wood piece to make the tab for this pocket. And when you pull that out again, four by six, four by six and inked the edges. It slides right back in. And this was out of the compliment set. <clears throat> this is the pomegranate paper that's in the B&T of the paper pack. Um, this is another piece that comes for the pocket scrapbooking. I just inked the edges in espresso and put the glitter on the flowers and around the blessed. And I just used our clear shimmer brush super easy to use you just brush it on I don't know if you, you probably can't see it but it keeps it really easy to get some shimmer on your pages these are four by threes this one I intend to put a photo again a little bit smaller than a four by three because this is cut four by three this I'll use as a journaling box this one I, I really like the look of the, the blue on blue or sapphire on sapphire for the grateful I inked the edges, used um, one of the zip strips off of the piece of paper to make the tab here. You ink the edges, again, four by threes. And this is all used as a journaling box. I inked the edges on this in the pomegranate. And it will slide right back in. This is from the compliment set. And this is part of the paper pack. It comes for the pocket scrapbooking, same as this. And I just inked around the edges and hit it with some pop, uh, puffy tape to make it stand up. These I used with the fern. Again, glittered or shimmer brushed the butterflies. And I cut these ones at four and a half by three and a half, which means it'll hold a four by three photo and you'll still see the inking around the edges. And I um, popped them up with some puffy tape or foam tape on both sides. And then the back, I just left it really simple. Again, one of the pieces for the pocket scrapbooking, shimmer brushed on the butterfly and inked around the edges and saffron. Um, I'm going to be giving this to my mother-in-law because we're going to spend Thanksgiving at the coast with them. And I'm going to just hopefully be able to find somewhere to get some photos developed while we're there and then give this to her when we leave on Sunday morning. 
that's the plan. If not, I'll, I'll mail it to them later. So that's it. Again, there'll be links to everything I uh, used right below, including where to get the envelopes. And if you have any questions, just reach out. I'm always available to answer questions for you. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.